Hello, New Hope. Hope you are all doing well today. I want to talk to you today about altar calls. Do you remember the altar calls of yesterday? They were invitations. Invitations to come into the greatest family on earth and become part of that great family, the family of God. Those were invitations to accept an inheritance. As the Apostle Peter puts it, it's an incorruptible inheritance. It's undefiled. It's one that never fades away. It's a, an invitation in heaven, a personal invitation for you. I'm glad there was a day when I accepted that invitation. I remember that evening well. It was a Sunday night, and I heard the Spirit cry, and I heard the Spirit say, Come. This is an invitation that, if accepted, brings eternal salvation for your soul. It's an invitation that we can become part of the greatest enterprise in all the world, the Church of Jesus Christ. We can become one with the Father, one with the Son, and one with the Spirit. The last invitation in the scriptures is found in Revelation chapter 22 and verse 17. And it says, come. This invitation, a final plea for every soul to turn to the Lord. This invitation from Jesus himself says to come. The Holy Spirit calls to every soul to come. The bride calls to every soul to come. So it's God's spirit who says, come. And that's the invitation for you today. It's the invitation for each and every one of us. I remember we used to sing when we were having communion at church, and I loved the power of the words and the power of the music. And we would sing this chorus, Come to the table of mercy, prepared with the wine and the bread. All who are hungry and thirsty, come and your soul will be fed. Come at the Lord's invitation. Receive from his nail-scarred hand. Eat of the bread of salvation and drink of the blood of the Lamb. Twice that word come is used. And it is an invitation to come and partake of the elements of communion and to show the Lord's death till he comes. But now all the way back in the last chapter of the book, it's the Spirit of God who is drawing you. It's the Spirit of God who wants you to partake, to partake of the body and the blood of the Lamb. It's the body of Christ who calls for us to come. As a member of the body of Christ, my plea to you is that you come. My plea to you as a member of the body of Christ is to hear the Spirit's call and to hear the call of the body. Come. So this invitation today is for you. If you are thirsty, the Spirit and the bride say, come. Do you thirst after the things of God? If you are hungry, it is the Spirit and it is the Bride who beg you to come. If you are willing to come, it's the Spirit of God and it is the Bride of Christ who say, come. 
So now it's up to you, just like it was up to me many, many years ago. When I walked in the aisle and I came and I answered that old-fashioned altar call, that invitation to come and join the greatest family on earth. So it's up to you to come. As we reach out today, please, please accept that invitation to come. I still accept that invitation every, every time I hear that chorus and every time I come to the table of mercy. Oh, isn't God a glorious God? In exchange for a heart that was selfish, God has given me a new heart. In exchange for all of the terrible things that this world brings, he has given me joy unspeakable and full of glory. What a powerful, powerful thought. God loves you. He really does. So today, please come to the table of mercy. Lord, we come to you in the mighty name of Jesus, and I pray for my friends today. Perhaps there's one who's never turned to you, Lord, and I pray for that friend today. Help them to understand you died for their sin. You want them to be part of your body, the church, part of your bride, Lord. You want them to come. And I pray for my friends in the church. May we all take a moment and turn to you in this moment as the Spirit draws and the Spirit says, come. Help us to respond in Jesus' name. Now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance unto you and give you peace. Shalom. Amen.